Here's the go kart. It's all completed now. I was thinking about putting a motor on it at one stage, but decided that a motor wasn't a very good idea because I had one on there before. Me and my mates put it on, but the engines keep breaking down or something doesn't line up with something else and it just doesn't really work. So it's got some real basic brakes on here. So you just push the pedal and then the bit of metal, it's got a cable. And then you just push the pedal like this. And then the bit of metal on the back just hits on the wheels. Probably the hardest part about making a go-kart like this, although it's not that bad, is the steering. Lots of little bits. This one, we just mounted a tow hook down the bottom. So that way we just chuck a rope around it and tie it behind a quad bike or something. Got some wheels here off our entry hoe. Uh, gonna try these wheels out. Originally I had some wheels like these on it. This is what they look like when you first buy them. But then, once you've had them on the go-kart for a while, they'll lose a few bolts. And then the you can't tell when you're riding along behind the quad or getting towed. And then all of a sudden you've got a wheel with no bolts in it and the wheel falls off and it'll just, all the bearings fall out of it. Falls to bits. See, and quite often the bearings of them get stuffed. Or the, the, uh, on the valve here it gets bent over and leaks all the air out. And the bearings always get stuffed so I don't find these tires rude for making go-karts and stuff. And if anyone's got any ways I could improve the go-kart or think I should do to the go-kart, just uh, let me know on my channel comments. Thanks.